Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nacho Cheese. My name is Unctious, and we are about to get into game three of this best of five. The doctor now at a commanding lead. It's 2-0 against Puke, his TBT opponent. And we're going to jump right into this match on Del Malika Caverns, which uh, I'm excited to see. We'll see if Puke can maybe reverse sweep and take the rest of this matchup, or if the doctor, who has a wonderfully commanding lead at this point and who has shown uh, just absolutely great macro, great map control, uh, see if maybe he can just go ahead and take this game and end it right now. Now we are casting, uh, this is game three of the best of five series between Pute and the Doctor. This is the semifinals match in the small time tournament, which is a small casual tournament started by a Redditor by the name of Rabbitbot. He is Zen in StarCraft. And uh, big thanks to him for organizing this whole tournament and for getting the wonderfully huge prize pool uh, started. Functions, how much are these players playing for tonight? These players are competing for the grand prize of 100 U.S. pennies. 100 right. pennies, that's right, which is equivalent to 10 dimes, 4 quarters, 20 nickels, or any other combination thereof. It is a single U.S. dollar. And you heard it here. Heard, you heard it here first, folks. This is one dollar on the line right now. And I was just noticing. I'm going to take a brief second to recognize that um, command centers look like they could be transformers. Like if those little four things were legs. They could totally come up and have a mouth and little eyes. You know, like a little uh, laser eye thing going on. Just something worth noting. That's Definitely. it. There's like you know Megatron just hiding here. Or what was that unit? That was called, um, which, ha, oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to stop this for just a moment to note that both players are getting proxy barracks. Uh, Pute is throwing down his proxy barracks on this northern ring around this third base, and the doctor is throwing down his own proxy barracks at the gold base of his opponent. So this is a game of cheese versus cheese. Uh, and we're just going to have to see whose cheese is executed better. We may get into a base race at this point, which I think would be hilarious. Look at the Marine! Look at the Marine! Oh, it didn't see anything! Uh, the Doctor just went out just far enough to get past those bushes, and did, I don't think he saw those there. So I have to check the camera to make sure. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Doctor... Didn't see anything. Neither of these players know what is happening, so... Each of these players is going to be taken by surprise, and unfortunately for Pute, the Doctor did choose to go with his walling off strategy, so the Marines coming out from Pute will have to go through that wall of supply depots and a barracks before they can get into the base, whereas the Doctor's Marines will just be able to walk up that ramp and start doing damage to the SCVs or any of the other buildings. Uh, however, the Doctor was able to spot those Marines coming out. He's got to be suspicious. Pute clearly able to spot the Marines coming out of the Doctor. He's got to be suspicious. And now the Doctor's attack is going to be going underway first, able to take that Marine before he can do any damage, and now moving the small Marine and SCV force into the base. Meanwhile, SCV is going in over the lower supply depot. Uh, going to be able to go into this base. I don't know why Pute is not utilizing this disadvantage. He should just be moving in the Marines. There we go. He moves it on top of this supply depot. will not be able to lower. And the attack was cleaned up in Pew's base. And Pew's Marines are in here doing a lot of damage to the supply depots. Uh, the Doctor is now forced to throw down a bunker and bring all of his SCVs off the line. I think he'll be able to push this attack back as he is able to get a nice surround on the Marines. However, the supply oh, depot doesn't go down. The supply depot holds, but it will burn. Oh, burn, ah. baby, burn. Did not get those, uh, those SCVs in there in time to repair. And now the Doctor is flying his barracks even further behind enemy lines. He is not... It, I definitely think... It looks like Pute had the, uh... The, the better is, like, more of an advantage over that. That's ridiculous. And Pute is still rallying Marines into this base. There's not going to be anything down right now. It's three Marines against three Marines, but the Doctor had the first hit, so Pute is going to have to back off. Um, more Marines... It looks like Pute is going straight for the barracks that is flying its way in. 
Uh, he's going to try to take care of that, but he is going to scout this command center in the meantime. And finally, the doctor retaking his wall. Uh, nothing else will be able to get in. Uh, both players have to expand after this. What an interesting engagement. I think the doctor got a little excited. Uh, he had taken that two-game lead in these first two games and thought maybe he could end it quickly, but I don't know. Cheese is a whole different game uh, when it comes down to it. As oh, the doctor's cheese is just getting cleaned up. He's using his barracks to get some nice scouting information. He will see these two extra barracks going down for puke. And Pute's proxy barracks has lifted off and landed in a slightly different position. I think Pute's ahead in this game. His expansion command center is done, so we will be able to transfer some workers down there. He's upgrading that to an orbital command. More marines being rallied to the front for Pute. And the doctor really only has this bunker and a couple marines to hold against a much larger marine force and a closer barracks. Uh, we will have to see where this game goes, but I don't think it has gone the way the Doctor planned it to go. Uh, so the Doctor, I almost want to say he's getting a taste of his own medicine, but that wouldn't really be accurate. I think I'll just I'll let that pun stand. It's inaccurate, but you know what? What the heck? We're doing it live. This game is even more ridiculous than the last games we saw, and uh, it's turning out to be really enjoyable. For me, at least. I hope you guys watching, and I hope, Unctious, that you are having a good time. I am having a good time, and I have to appreciate your cheesy pun in this cheesy game, but it looks like the Harvester count is nearly dead even for, for the players right now. Um, these Purple Marines are going to try to, sending one forward, one guy gets commanded to risk his life to, just to see exactly what's up there. Think of the Marine, he had a wife and children. That, those, that poor family, who knows what's going to happen, but it looks like the Purple Terran is still going to just keep you know, moving things out towards uh, towards the opponent's, ta his opponent's face. But two Hellions coming out from the Doctor is, uh, is going to clean up these Marines pretty quickly if he can get them out there and, and use them properly. And we do have a Starport coming out, which means we want it. We're probably going to see some drop play. But these Marines are afraid for their lives. Those burn marks are terrible. Uh, Marines getting in a line, getting in a nice line to so be taken out by those, by those, um, those flames. Uh, the Purple Terran is able to hold, moving forward. One Hellion is out, but two, there's, um, two Marines were able to get into the bunker in time to escape any, any risk of death. Um, and Pute is still just sending Marines forward from his proxy barracks right now. He is definitely ahead right now with all of these base, uh, all of these, um, unit producing structures out right now on the field. That's a lot of minerals not being spent on units themselves. Now the problem Pew has is that he is supply blocked. There are no supply depots on the way. He could use his command center energy to drop down uh, some extra supply so that he can continue to make units. Now starting with three supply depots, however, that was a lot of time lost. And if he's going to continue with all these marines, the doctor now has blue flame finished. He has a reactor factory, so he is committing to the Hellion play, able to clean up all of those marines outside of his base and break that contain. And now these Hellions are just going to be running free through the map, trying to clear that tower, although there's nothing there, and then running back. And getting loaded up in this meta deck, which will be preparing for a blue flame Hellion drop, although Pew, with his units right there, will be able to spot it and will hopefully get his units prepared in time to deal with this drop and shut it down. Uh, this game is insane. Now, Pute looks like he's gearing up to take a third base, and and the Doctor's still on one. The Doctor really needs to either get that command center down and get rid of those uh, the couple marauders, which do will do a lot of damage to those Hellions. Um, but it looks like this drop is making its way over. There's all Marines there to spot it right when it comes out. And they will scare that meta back away. Oh, the Hellion's going down to be able to just take him out. He's moving forward with, his, forward with the drop. He's going to move forward. He's going to ignore that siege tank and go straight to the mineral line right now. And he is doing a lot of damage. All the SCVs will have to be pulled. And he needs to do this economic damage because he's so far behind uh, economy-wise. It looks like there's a, quite a few barracks coming down uh, for our, blue, uh, yeah, our purple Terran. That's what I meant. Um, for Pute right now, and Marauder's coming out, finally going to be able to try to, ooh, but some beautiful micro, Hellion micro, dropping him, letting him take a shot, picking him back up, doing a ton of damage right now, 
Uh, neither of the Marauders have gone down yet, and that medevac, medevac will just get out of there, completely satisfied with the damage that has been done. So right now, uh, it looks like the Doctor has 46 Harvesters against Pete's 27. Even though he has two bases up, he is not at an advantage as, as far as economy is concerned any longer. Um, and the Doctor, with a ridiculous supply lead, has nearly doubled the supply of Pete at this point. Uh, will be able to do some damage if he pushes right now, but it looks like he's just going to choose uh, to get uh, to secure that base. Hellion's coming forward just a little bit to make sure that everything is being taken care of out on the home front. The Doctor, as we noted before, ended up way behind after that initial double cheese play. However, uh, because of his solid play and control, uh, good micro on those Hellions has once again taken a really, really commanding lead. He's now almost 40 food ahead of Pute. He now has his own second base running. He has a huge worker advantage. Uh, and even though Pete will be moving forward to try and take his third base, um, I think the Doctor is going to be doing well. Unfortunately for the Doctor, Pete has seen all of those blue flame Hellions and has chosen to go for a very heavy Marauder and Tank composition instead of Marines. And Hellions are not really that good against those armored units. They only do nine, eight damage, I'm sorry, uh, against armored units or anything that's not light. And that blue flame upgrade is going to be completely negated by the fact that they're all armored units. Uh, Pute moves forward to take the towers, but neglects to pull his marauder back, and that will get taken out by the Hellion tank force. And the doctor probably guessing that his opponent has taken the gold third. We'll go ahead and take his own goal third. However, he will spot the army moving up, and the Hellions, while they're not doing the most damage they could, still doing a lot of splash damage against those Marauders, just enough to scare it back uh, and allow him to continue taking out those rocks. Now, the two Hellions that were involved in the drop have been repaired. They are moving into the main base, and they're going to start doing even more damage against all these SCVs. And if we just look at the worker skill, let's just watch this. Just completely rack up for the doctor. He's up to 32 workers killed. Taking a look at the unit station, there's only 36 SCVs on the field for Pute. There's 61 on the field for the doctor, which is just a huge lead, even though Pute has this third base. Uh, it looks like some supply depots were getting taken out uh, around this back door entrance by a couple of these. Hellions, which is going to supply block Pute even more, and let the Doctor continue to uh, out-unit him, as Pute is simply not able to build anything at this particular moment. Uh, an engagement happening on the left side of the Castle of the Hell, uh, tanks getting sieged up on both sides, going to force this into a Mexican standoff. Um, both forces do not want to advance, although he somewhat foolishly rushes all of his marauders in there. He does take out two tanks, he might get a third, he does not. Uh, I don't know if two tanks were worth all of those marauders, although he still has about ten marauders left and four tanks sieged up, guarding this third. Uh, both players now on three bases. And another feature happening, uh, ten marauders versus ten Italians. Marauders will win any day they're able to push that back and get the tank out of position. Uh, he did a pretty good job with that attack. He may be able to get, he does get that last tank before he's cleaned up by all of the Italians. And the Pute, the Pute, Pute doing a good job <laughs> of fighting back from a bit of a disadvantage earlier on in this game. Yeah, we saw the Pute uh, go, go ahead and try to take out those tanks and did a horrible job of it. Hellions coming in from the Doctor to try to take out the Pute's gold expansion uh, will, will do some damage. Those mules, uh, most of those mules will stay up, however, and Marauders lumbering over to take care of those uh, last uh, those last Hellions. Now, it looks like, however, um, that Pute is really, really, really pushing this Marauder heavy army, um, which might be a little dangerous in the long run if this, uh, if the Doctor tries to start going towards air, which he has, he got some Banshees on the field, and those, those Marauders are going to be unable to do anything with those Banshees. They can't shoot up. You know, the, the, the weight of everything is just too strong to do that. And it looks like Pute is going to go ahead and clean these, uh, these last Marauders up, but foolishly putting that, bringing that tank forward 
Uh, these monster tanks unnecessarily. Now it looks like we have a drop, a Hellion drop in the gold expansion. Tank is able to take it out, doing some splash damage on his own units, however, and that's definitely going to be uh, not not what he wanted to do at that point. Uh, at this point, uh, for both players, all SCP production has stopped. There's going to be no more harvesters coming out right now. Everybody's just looking to, to do as much damage as they can to the other guy uh, without worrying about his own economy. Oh, never mind. It looks like it looks like uh, the doctor's uh, trying to take another expansion, which he definitely needs to do at this point um, to stay ahead of the game. And we have an, uh, we have an engagement in the middle. Marauders taking out tanks, taking out Hellions, moving forward to the gold expansion, going to try to take out as many SCVs as possible, going for that gap. Both players are, ha are having a pretty gap heavy build. If he can take care of those, uh, then he's going to put his, his opponent at a disadvantage. However, these Marauders will get cleaned up really easily by those out of Banshees. And it looks like they're just going to be moving forward. He knows that there's really nothing else that can take care of those air units at this point until those Marines come out, but those Marines aren't going to be able to do much with three cloak Banshees. A scan will have to go down, but no, that's necessary. I don't think sees uh, any of those Banshees. They're pretty much out of range. And it looks like doc the Doctor now taking uh, control of the middle part of the map again. Um, moving his beach tanks forward, forward, teaching up, going to try to take out that Orbital Command. A lot of Hellions coming out, another siege tank joining in the fray, while these Vikings are trying to take care of those Banshees. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. The Banshees will take out um, the command center, and he's just going to keep moving forward at this point. He is prepared to hold his ground. Doctor had a brilliant plan. He went very heavy on the Hellions, which forced his opponent to make the smart move of moving to a Marauder tank army uh, for the, those Hellions to be negated. However, neither Marauders nor tanks can look up, and so uh, Pete was just unprepared for all of those banshees, and the Doctor was able to take advantage of that for the short time it would take to transition and take out all of his tanks, most of his Marauders, and he still continues to make uh, banshees. On the Marauders, and now we see three Thors coming out on the field for the Doctor. Uh, Thors, pretty good. Pretty good units. I think that is uh, a little bit of an understatement. These things are massive. Um, I hope that they have no upgrades right now. There are no vehicle upgrades uh, for the Doctor at this point. And I'm not sure what Marines look like on either side. I actually can't find any Marines to check. Marauders has 1-1 one, one from um, Duke, who's moving forward, and take out a few battalions, getting uh, flanked by a Banshee, however. And they're going to be able to do a lot of damage to the stores. That's something the Doctor should have thought about. He knows that his opponent is going very, very, very heavy Marauder. I'm not sure why he'd get out some uh, armored units with those mar Marauders do a, a great deal of damage to. Uh, not Marauders, yeah, Marauders do a great deal of damage to. Um, I'm not sure I like the Thor play at this point. Uh, I'm not sure there's too much of a use for it. Did you see Pute is trying to regain his gold expansion? Meanwhile, the Doctor has had his gold expansion up and way oversaturated for quite a while. He does have a fourth base back here. Uh, he could gear up to take a fifth at any time uh, as he does have this map control. Uh, in the previous engagement, while these Thors were out, uh, Pute had a lot of Marauders attacking in that area, but unfortunately he was not microing them to the best of his ability, and those Marauders were wasting a lot of shots against Hellions, as these Thors are completely untouched. Now the Doctor will be sending his Hellions around to scout and possibly do some harassment, uh, but there's nothing to harass there, so they will be wisely pulling back. Um, this one Hellion checking the side base, making sure, yep, my opponent is still on three bases, and now a large amount of Marauders moving up to try and take advantage. Now, these, this engagement will go down. Um, the Marauders are trying to get in there, doing a lot of damage to all these armored units. These Vikings are just sitting over the base, making sure nothing happens. Marauders will take out a couple of those swords, are going to move back. Um, most of them died anyway. I think I would have rather uh, had those, those Marauders just entirely um, commit to that army, but it looks like more Marauders are coming forward, going to be able to take care of those, uh, those, those Hellions. Now trying to get one of the Thors. Does go down, it looks like. Oh no, both Thors are there. One Thor now going down. A tank went down before I missed the, what was behind that explosion. But it doesn't look like uh, Pute is going to be able to really keep track of this, this gold expansion. He's not going to... Uh, tank's now sieging up from the Doctor going to take out this gold expansion again. And this harassment is just going so well for the Doctor right now. He was able to come back at this point and, and regain all map control. And the longer the game goes on, once again, the more ahead he's getting. He's gearing up to take a fifth base right now. Uh, it will be flying out 
uh, very soon, and it looks like the doctor is just going to sit on his map control. He knows his opponent is on two bases, and one is not very m mining very well at all right now. Let's see the resources tab, where right now Cube has 70, 79 minerals a minute happening for him, getting uh, slowly making his way back up. Um, I'm sorry, not a minute. I need to look at the income tab, where he has 32 harvesters. Again, um, the doctor is 85. Excuse my slip up. But right now, that fifth base is moving up to the doctor. He has map control and now moving everything down the center um, to go ahead and try to take care of the, uh, the suspension that went down. It just went down. At this point, I don't think that there's much uh, Pew can do to come back from this. It's probably going to be the doctor's game. So let's see if he can pull something out of thin air. There is the GG for Pew. So the doctor will be moving on to the final in this small time tournament. Uh, able to come back from that ridiculous double cheese game to win once again. Uh, congratulations to the doctor. Thanks so much for Pew for playing very well and getting so far in this tournament. We will be back to cast the finals after a very short break. Until then, I am Nacho Cheese. And I'm anxious. I can't wait for that final match, and we will meet up with you over there. See ya.